vegetables. You can have salt whenever you want. You can put it on your vegetables. Uh, some people like it in their smoothies. I do not. Uh, some people hate salt and they'll take a salt tablet or just drink, put salt in some water and chug it. That part doesn't matter. Have salt whenever you want. You will absorb it just fine. Okay. But iodine that will absorb better without your cruciferous vegetables. So if you have it with your vegetables, just also have it without it. Daily salt requirements on pure hypernourishment. I've heard about salt should not be taken near eating cruciferous vegetables. Does that mean salt in my cruciferous salad doesn't count in the daily gold? All right, people get really confused on this and I don't know how to unconfuse it. I'm usually pretty good at communicating, but for some reason, the salt iodine thing, and I see the next question on Facebook is also about iodized salt. So let me see if I can clear this up for you. Okay, your body needs certain things that have to be supplied externally, right? Among those things are both sodium and iodine, okay? So we can separate that out. We need sodium, we need iodine, right? Iodine helps us not only with thyroid health, but with brain health. And sodium is also necessary. The reason why we check, check your electrolyte panels is a certain amount of blood sodium is necessary for us to function properly. If our blood sodium or salt level goes too low, we can feel dizzy, we can have a seizure, we can get diarrhea. So blood sodium, right? So we need sodium, we need iodine. Those things are two, both things are true, right? Now, the easiest and cheapest way to get iodine is iodized salt. So you can get your iodine with your sodium if you use iodized salt with your food. Historically, people eating iodized salt was just normal, at least in America. We've had the government like made a decree, I don't know, a while ago, where all salt that was like regular salt, table salt was iodized because there are places in the world where people have terrible diseases, especially brain diseases because of a lack of iodine. And they thought, well, one thing every American eats is salt. So if we put iodine in the salt, now everyone will get their iodine when they eat their salt. So they solve two problems, one solution, okay? So please understand that. Those are two separate things. Now, cruciferous vegetables, which are extremely important part of the protocol because they have the highest level of nourishment of any plant food you can eat, okay? Cruciferous vegetables also can interfere with some of your iodine absorption. For most of us, it's not a problem because we're putting salt on things, we're getting our iodine, sometimes we get a little more, sometimes we get a little less, no problem. But for some people, especially people with thyroid disease, the that little bit of interference can have a symptom, right? Which is where the folklore comes from that somehow people with thyroid disease should not eat cruciferous vegetables. That is incorrect, okay? They need the nutrition, but the concern is that they will absorb less iodine and they already have a low thyroid and that's gonna make them have even less thyroid hormone, right? Does that make, hopefully that makes sense. So if you want to maximize iodine absorption, then when you have your iodine, have it separately from your vegetables. That does not mean you can't put salt on your vegetables. You can have salt whenever you want. You can put it on your vegetables. Uh, some people like it in their smoothies, I do not. Uh, some people hate salt and they'll take a salt tablet or just drink, put salt in some water and chug it. That part doesn't matter. Have salt whenever you want, you will absorb it just fine, okay? But iodine, that will absorb better without your cruciferous vegetables. So if you have it with your vegetables, just also have it without it. So maybe you have some avocado or other vegetables with guacamole and the salt is there. Or if you really wanna optimize it and have no question, then take an iodine supplement in the morning or before bed and then eat salt that doesn't have iodine. So you need both you can have them together in iodized salt or you can have them separately, okay? I never had to have this conversation five years ago because everybody was just doing iodized salt. Um, and then all of a sudden I started seeing people having thyroid issues where their TSH was going up and, uh, and I figured it out. And I was very proud of myself for this, that those people were using sea salt that was not iodized and I realized you're actually not getting iodine anymore. And not only is that starving your thyroid, but in addition, 
you have are eating cruciferous vegetables, which could then lower your absorption even more. And so that was causing a problem. We added iodine back and boom, everything gone, autoimmune disease and the thyroid issue. So that's why I even have to speak about it now is because people stopped using iodized salt and that's the whole reason, okay? So you don't need to um, not have salt with your vegetables. It's just that that's the only issue. And I hope that that makes sense because the question comes up all the time and people still struggle with the idea of why iodine, iodized salt, all that stuff. So hopefully me taking a little more time with it helped you with that.